The Indian Ocean island of Madagascar may be one of the world's poorest nations, but this is not stopping it from producing one of the world's most expensive delicacies. Local entrepreneurs are now hoping their caviar will win over some of the world's most demanding chefs. CGTN's Beryl Oro has this story. Floating sturgeon laboratories are common in Russia or Iran, but this is Lake Mantasoa a hydropower reservoir in the highlands of Madagascar. At an altitude of 1,400 meters, it is Africa's first and only caviar farm. Each fish produces a pile of eggs that are carefully removed with tweezers, salted, and then decanted into cans to ripen. Around six months later, the precious granules are repackaged for export. Jerome Bastide slides an ultrasound wand under the sturgeon's underbelly to extract the eggs. So here we have a 2.6 to 2.7, so it's perfect for caviar. We are rechecking the texture. We feel there is a certain resistance to it. It means we can transform it so that we go for caviar. With the world's fourth highest rate of chronic malnutrition, Madagascar is an unlikely source for a luxury food that fetches upwards of $773.78 per kilogram in plush French restaurants. But Mantasoa's cool water and inexpensive labor inspired three French entrepreneurs to set up Asipensa in 2009. The feeding is done with food made in rover caviar. It is made with our own company, made with 90% local ingredients to try and limit our carbon footprint. We are really careful with that. It's a recipe that we've made ourselves and it functions very well given the growth we are having of the fish. Asipensa employs between 250 to 300 locals depending on the season. It produced its first batch in 2017. When I finished studying, I didn't think I would work in the caviar industry. At best, I thought I would work with shrimps or flagship products from Madagascar. And now I'm working on something that is unique in Madagascar, but also in Africa. I'm very proud. This was a high-risk venture, high cost in time, money, and hope that nature would be a favorable ally and the investment made good returns as they managed to produce the first batch of unique caviar. The head chef at Marais, a glitzy rooftop restaurant in Madagascar's capital, Antananarivo, takes great pride in serving local caviar. What's particular with this caviar is, it is very subtle in the mouth, buttery, and it will combine well with the products from Madagascar like seafood. This year, the Malagasy company will produce almost five metric tons for export, mostly to France. The global caviar market is projected to grow at 7% per year, totaling around 560 million US dollars by 2025, according to Adroit Market Research. Beryl Oro, CGTN.